Good evening, everyone. My name is Mary McGinnity, and I'm the National Executive Director for IVC. And I want to welcome all of you this evening to the Baltimore Evening of Gratitude. And in a very special way, I want to offer my congratulations to Missy Gugardy. Missy, it has been a wonderful joy to have had you a part of IVC as a spiritual reflector. And we celebrate the tremendous work and service that you have done in our community. Thank you and congratulations for tonight. To all of you, we express our continued gratitude to the support that you give IVC in Baltimore. Without your continued support, we would not be able to serve the, those people in our community of great need through the wonderful talents and skills of our IVC volunteers. Thank you. I hope you have a wonderful evening. And again, Missy, congratulations. Well, I want to offer my sincere congratulations to Sister Missy Gugudi for winning the Della Strada Award in 2012. It really is a great recognition of all that she has done to support and uh, inspire the work of the Ignatian Volunteers. I think for my part that one of the great things that Missy does for us at um, Loyola is that she really brings our students along in terms of service and reflection in ways that are really productive. Missy does this. Missy inspires this, and uh, that's why this award is richly deserved. And again, my real sincere congratulations to her. When I heard about uh, this recognition, it's definitely something that's long deserved for Missy. Uh, when I was a student uh, at Loyola, I was very uh, impressed always by her solid groundedness. Uh, and you know, when, as a student, seeing poverty and trying to come to terms with it uh, is something that was very difficult for a lot of us and it certainly was very uh, special to have someone that at the, at the same time of being uh, very calm and, and being very present in the moment was also able to show that she really cared deeply about the work uh, that she was doing. After I graduated uh, from Loyola, uh, I was roped into being a part of a Friends of Beans and Bread. It was a uh, organization that was trying to keep interest that had been generated while we were students to keep that as we were young professionals uh, and I collaborated with Missy uh, in that role as well uh, and it was great to see her in a different light as someone uh, collaborating more directly with her and trying to uh, to keep up the interest uh, in, in, in beans and bread uh, and so I'm very grateful for having known Missy now for a number of years uh, and I, I hope that she uh, continues to do this wonderful work uh, that we've all come to know her uh, in, in her service. One of my favorite stories to share about Missy is that literally the first time I met her, we were on a van, we had done caravan together, and literally the first time I met her, she found out the type of literature I teach, which focuses very much on the way different cultures and traditions interact, very much about freedom and justice. And she said to me, have you ever thought about starting a service immersion program in El Salvador? And the idea had never in my wildest dreams occurred to me, and yet it was impossible to say no to. And so Missy is for me someone who helps me hear and respond to the deepest callings that exist within ourselves. Congratulations, Missy. I'm very happy for you. I still remember the first time I heard you speak at the conference, and that's the first time I heard so much compassion and conviction in your voice, and I remember the reason why you're the head of CCHJ. I'm really happy for you, and you deserve it. One thing that you taught me was that when you ask someone, how are you, you should take the time to listen to his or her response. With that spirit in mind, I wanted to take the time to let you know that you've been an important person in my life. The time that I spent at Beans and Bread was not only an important part of my college experience, but an important part of my life. It shaped who I am today. And for that, I am so grateful. Thank you, Missy. You have truly made a difference in my life and in so many other people's lives as well. So I wanted to congratulate you on your award. And please, most importantly, remember that when you're down at Beans and Bread, taste a few of the pastries to make sure that they're good for the guests. I met Missy about 10 years ago during my first week as program director at the Beans and Bread Center. Um, she had asked to, to meet with me, and I think it was uh, primarily because she wanted to check me out and make sure that I was okay for the program. Uh, when we met, she told me the story about a client that she was seeing who wouldn't stop reading a magazine in her office <clears throat> when she was talking to him. And 
uh, what she realized was he wouldn't stop reading the magazine because he didn't have anywhere else to read the magazine. And it was at that time that I understood how much she really cared about the clients and the work that we were doing. And so I couldn't think of a better person um, to receive this award. She has been such a good friend to me and such a good friend to Beans and Bread and to St. Vincent de Paul. Um, from anywhere from uh, providing us with some sort of students to assist us with our work or um, students that help with activities for our FOH men or just um, helping us you know, with things like our celebration activity that we host at Loyola University. Um, she's touched us in so many ways and supported us in so many ways that we couldn't do the things that we do without the partnership with Missy and CCJS. And we are so grateful for that and I'm so happy for you Missy. I couldn't think of a more deserving person. So congratulations to you for the Del Strada Award. One thing that I can say about Missy is that she gives off a great first impression. When I first met her, I thought she was absolutely crazy because she would wear around these wild and huge hats while trying to do the Dougie. And she wanted to teach everyone how to do the Dougie. And, you know, we learned how to do the Dougie. Because of her crazy and wild energy, it brings such a presence to this office that we absolutely love and which is one of the reasons why most of us adore her. As a sophomore at Loyola, just back from six months of studying abroad in Thailand, I was really struggling to make sense of inequality in the world. And I had somehow convinced myself that dropping out of college was the best way to move forward in living a life dedicated to service. You mentored me through that crisis with great sensitivity and helped me to see that I could use my opportunities and education for the good of the world. 19 years later, I am now a practicing obstetrician in a health center where I deliver babies for women of, uh, of low income who come from all over the world. As I look back on my path and how I got this far, there is no doubt in my mind um, that your presence, your mentoring, your time, the role model that you are um, was really key at that pivotal moment in my life at helping me to move forward and to make plans um, that brought me to where I am today. I'm so thankful for, um, for your presence in my life. My first real experience with Missy was at a meeting where she was eviscerating a colleague of mine who had an idea for a community project and had failed to ask the community members whether or not they needed the project. So. I, of course, was overblown by Missy's uh, incredible passion for justice. And since that time, I have learned that whenever you're in Missy's presence, you're in the presence of God. Congratulations, Missy. I feel like I have been a little bit of a creeper on Missy because this year, senior year, is the first year I've ever worked in the office, but I have come into contact with Missy. I'm not even sure in what context, but I've definitely heard her speak many times before, and I've always been so impressed by her humor and her humility and the great stories that she has and I always love listening to her speak because she tells the funniest stories and they always have such great messages. She's a wonderful woman with a lot of wonderful insight and some of the best stories I've ever heard. Hi Missy, just wanted to congratulate you on your Ignatian Volunteer Award. It's been an absolute pleasure getting to see your work in action all of these years and I know that I can speak for many alums and certainly uh, fellow staff and employees here at Loyola that without you and your inspiration to our students and to community members every day, uh, those who are poor and vulnerable here in Baltimore City wouldn't have the access um, to all the resources that we provide at Loyola and just your inspiration to each of us to continue to serve and to continue to be hopeful and positive about the life that we create for others and with others. Um, we thank you and congratulations. Congratulations, Missy. I literally cannot think of anyone better suited for an award uh, that highlights their dedication to service. You serve in literally everything that you do and I've been lucky enough to reap the benefits of that just working near you in the office. Um, you just ooze 
the essence of service in everything you do. You really do. Um, from the way you speak to people, the way you recognize every single person's unique value and dignity. I've never seen anything like it, and you are the most deserving person for this. So congratulations. I love you so much, and thank you for every way that you've served me over the past few years. Hi, Missy. It's an honor, it's a privilege, and it's a blessing for me to be able to sit here and speak about you for all the works you've done for close to 20 years now that I've known you and the heart and the soul you've put into your mission in your true mission statement. You followed in the spirit of Ignatians in the school sisters. You've done the works that most would cast aside. You've bathed those who needed to be bathed. You fed those who needed to have been fed. You were doing programs before there were programs even started. And I have been privileged and honored to have followed in some of your footsteps as you, you have been my mentor over the years. Because of you and others, I am where I sit today, able to speak about you. And hopefully it continue on. And with your longevity and the way you're doing it, I know that it inspires others as though it inspires me. And again, congratulations on your Della Strada Award and you're well deserved, well honored. And if anyone, anyone deserves such an award, it would be you, Missy. Congratulations, Missy. Can you say it again? Congratulations, Missy. <laughs> I can't think of anybody better to win this award or anybody by those lucky Ignatian Volunteer Corps members who get a chance to process their service experience with you. I enjoyed 10 years of processing experiences with you and of working with you as you taught me about what it means to be a community member, about what it means to listen to the community first, about the wisdom that's located in the community, and um, about what it means to live out um, the values um, that we're taught here at Loyola. I miss you, I miss you, and I'm so proud, and I can't think of anybody more deserving. Congratulations, and a huge, huge hug to you. Hi, Missy, congratulations. I can't think of a better person to deserve such an award. And I really have to thank you for all the work you've done to support the clinical centers and to support me and my role here at the clinical centers. You have really uh, taught me and really framed the vision by which we at the clinical centers approach community engagement and making sure that we really view our partnerships as being reciprocal and being in solidarity with the people that we work with. So I thank you for that because that's changed how we approach our, our community partners. And on a personal note, I have to say that I really value your always open listening ear and the fact that anytime I approach you either with a work problem or a personal problem or just a complaint or a gripe, you're right there in the moment with me and you always listen to me. I also deeply appreciate your sarcastic sense of humor, which I think is key to uh, good work and community service. And I would be negligent to not mention that I think we finally really bond over our true, deep, compassionate, mission and passion to love all things chocolate. So thank you for sharing that love with me as well. Hey Missy, congratulations on your award. You are so, so deserving of it. Over the years of knowing you, I've learned a lot about you and the things that you love. But most importantly, you love lighthouses. If you go in your office right now and there's lighthouses all over the place. So with this lighthouse imagery in mind, I decided to write a little poem for you. It's entitled, The Lighthouse. It gets dark in the city sometimes, making it hard to see jagged rocks of injustice, the crashing waves of inequality. The once beautiful glistening sea becomes bleak and overwhelming, trapping souls that long to be free. They pray for an end to racism, sexism, ageism, war and violence between woman and man. But when they look up, they see no dry land. Just when all hope is washed away, that bright light helps us navigate the way. The night has not won, justice will prevail. The light shines true without fail. And one by one, those ships come home, thanking that light that never left them alone. Congratulations, Missy! Congratulations. Congratulations. Couldn't think of a better person. 
Congratulations, Missy. You deserve it. Congratulations, Missy. Congratulations, Missy. Congratulations, Missy. Congratulations, Missy. Congratulations, Missy. Congratulations, Missy.